Sports Commission. Acting CEO and Mouton representative, Sherry Sia. And one. Let the games begin. This is a very, very historic day because for the first time, these sports will be played in the Southeast Asian Games. Yeah, I guess right. Malaysia. <laughs> we are. We feel very honoured that uh, we get the recognition that we been longing for. So all the players are very excited. Although like esports is normally it's like we're playing for money, but this time we be very different. We play for the country, and we have the whole country to back us for this tournament. You can look e-sport uh, just the same like you look at other professional sports, like example football. So everybody can play football, but not everybody are good in football and we can become professional. So you can allow your uh, your kids to play games and if and send them to competitions. So don't just let them play and for nothing. Yeah. Ask them play, train, and send it, uh, them to competition. If they have a talent to become big, then you can stick. You can make a decision to support or not because if he have a talent he can be maybe we can become a millionaire one day from the esports so parents have, have a chance to decide actually so if their kids are not that good in games just treat it as hobby only so you can control everything you want but if your kid has talent don't waste their talent A lot of people just think we're playing games just all day, every day. But actually, for Hearthstone in particular, for example, uh, our practice day starts with physical, physical uh, exercise. We have to make sure that our body is fit so that when we play the game, uh, you know, we can still play for a long amount of time. But in addition to that, we also know that playing too long is uh, dangerous. So for example, between our games, we get up, we walk around, we, we make it a point to move around and still do physical activity throughout the day. Silver at that exhibition. A lot of the young kids, for example, just think you just have to play a lot of games to, to be competitive, where in actuality, yes, you have to be good at the game and playing helps that, but you also have to have a good strategy and have a good understanding of the game mechanics and stuff like that. In my, in my opinion, I think it's still very important that you still do well in school, that you still make a career out of yourself, and you use uh, esports or your game as a hobby. And if your life is stable enough, then you can do both competitively. You can have a good job that's stable, and your hobby can be a focus in your life. So the, they, they call it mind sports. Uh, you can call this mind sports as well. The traditional sports world, 
Um, they have this thing called sports science where the athletes learn about nutrition, learn about physical, uh, physical conditioning and mental conditioning. So what we do is we take some of those lessons there and we apply it to our esports athletes. So of course they are gamers, they are not so used to it so we have to spend a lot of time trying to make them understand that these are some of the things that will help them increase their performance. The easiest part to convince a parent would definitely be the money. So to try to win tournaments and you know prove to them that you know I can earn something out of this and it's more than just you know the money. It's also a lot of experiences, you know, meeting all these kind of people from different countries and eventually traveling to compete and all these kind of different learning points. Like you know, when I went competitive, it was about sponsorships, branding yourself, uh, mental kind of like fortitude um, to you know be be able to handle stress within tournaments and all these kind of things. It, it all has a part to play when you want to be in esports. It's just amazing how far esports has come to even make it through to you know the Sea Games and eventually ASEAN Games, Asian Games, and maybe even one day the Olympics. I'm here to support Thomas. <laughs> so I think esports is slowly becoming more popular because, first of all, it's earning a lot of money. You can win a lot of money, and in Asian countries, I feel like it's not there yet. Like if you look at America, you look at other countries, they are really spending a lot of money. So I'm quite happy that esports is appearing in Sea Games at least. So it's, it's making it more legit. Yeah, more real, more like esports is not for kids, you know. It's a real sport.